Alright, welcome back to uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, 2, Part 3. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's Part 3. Um, I usually don't say the part in case uh, things get a little jumbled up, but looted a bunch of bodies. So now, my stamina went up too because I felt like level 3. It just sucks. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Believe it or not, taking all of this shit is... I mean, it's like such a big part of this game. If, if, if you didn't take all of this shit, you'd be in Shit's Creek. Snake oil. I believe that's the dynamite. Alright, no, I don't think there's really anything else. Nope. I get this dynamite. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. It's funny how they could they could tell if it's good we or not everything. from the smell. Think so, boss? Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellers. Not bad for some starving down and out. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe I know. They will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Sure it won't. All right. Dig in, fellas. Let's make the trail. Can't wait till they uh, fish their horse. You see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. God. Oh, uh, I think I was supposed to cross. Well, let's try going this way. Yeah, yeah. cool. Discount. No. Don't hurt me. <laughs> no, okay, I'm uh fucking up. Don't hurt me. <laughs> You're coming with me. Come 
Yeah, I totally fucked that up. You're supposed to keep, uh, like it said on screen. I just was fucking it up. Uh, let's loot him. Let's see what you got. This is very kind of you. Please don't. There we go. It, it, it like wasn't popping up. It was popping up. It just wasn't allowing me to. Let's get back on my horse. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name. It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Oh yeah, save your breath for screaming. Don't do this, please. Please, mister. You better shut your mouth, you little sh. Or I will shut it for you. Looking at what some of these buttons do. Um, all right, cool, 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 cool. cool. Get out of your feed the horse. Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas is need shooting, save fellas is need saving, and feed them is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Go see what. Figure what the P. Who the P is. Peterson or something like that. 
We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Pearson. That was close. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> now we learn how to hunt. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. So this this could be pretty difficult. I remember having a little bit of trouble. All right, just looking at what I got here. Are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. Now riding north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I think the beginning is the only time they do this cinematic thing where they kind of take the uh, control away from you. I don't remember it really doing all that much in the main point of the game. This is still kind of tutorial before it introduces you to the entire world. Deer been here recently. 
How can you tell? How can you not? Well, that's kind of a dick fucking move. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun yeah, is scared thanks. See the tracks? I don't think so. Maybe not. Focus. All right. Press R1 to track. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. I'm trying to do this in one shot and be patient. right up ahead. way up there. I see it right there. That's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? You gonna shut the fuck up?
Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. I don't really do a lot of hunting while I do this. Whoa. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, I mean, in the our luck's finally on the turn. In the uh, very beginning, our effort into getting off this mountain now. The these skills are pretty valuable. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and offing Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eyes. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Arthur. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Bears are pretty, uh, pretty tough in this game. I think at some point we have to take down a legendary... We gotta take down a legendary bear, I think, and that, that's pretty tough. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Like water mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just know you can run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, <coughs> yeah. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. 
Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. Uh, careful. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. The strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. Oh, watch it. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop <laughs> fucking running into me. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the cow once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Alright, I'm gonna pause it there. Um, be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Um, I'll just continue on. Well, well, well. Ah. Food delivery, and then I eat. So. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. I found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only <laughs> thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Alright, looks like I'm getting lower frame rate right now. I don't know why. Hurry I up. was... I want to get this meat in the pot. Was going to make this longer, but... I mean... Okay, ha come on. How, how do I do this? Allow me to help you. Come on, don't make me skin both of these. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Yeah, well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <coughs> A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams.
Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... All right, never mind that. I just want to stick to the plan, back to normal. which was to lie low, then head back out west. Nope. Spoke now, too soon. Suddenly, we're about to... What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him? Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have Spoke too soon. To rob. All right. All right, I am gonna end it here. I want to figure out why the frame rate is dropping. It's not dropping by much. Uh, six frames, but. Still, I want to see what it's about before, I don't know, it fucks up really bad and then ruins a video, or, well, anyway, I'll, I'll be back. Well, actually, no, I'm going to make this the end. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. And I'll be back with more of this.